Hi everyone. Today we will be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel system setup screens. Now detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been provided in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video number one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the Seymour touch panels include a series of built-in system setup screens that allow you to view uh, detailed information about the panel, adjust certain features, configure communications, test various fun functions of the touch panel, backup and restore the firmware, recipe, log, and project memory, clear the memory, and reset all values and conditions back to the original factory defaults. So in order to access the um, Seymour, I have my um, Seymour uh, in front of me here and if you hit the upper left corner right up here and hold for three seconds you will get a, a system a screen call and it says activating system screen will stop the panel uh, run mode do you want to continue we'll answer okay and now we go into our main menu of our system screens. And the first one being our information, then our setting, our test menu, and then our memory. So let's go into information. And under there, you will see that we have an EA9 T10CL and our panel name and our version of our hardware right now and our boot uh, loader firmware and operating system. If we look at memory, It'll tell me how much uh, SD RAM, MRAM, and built-in flash we have. Then we have our internet. This will tell me my MAC address and my address that's in the, uh, the unit right now. And currently right now, we are not connected through Ethernet at all. Then we have any error. So any error messages that will come up will be list listed right here. We can go back to our main menu. And then we can go into our setting. And the first setting is adjust clock. We can now adjust our clock in our Seymour. Um, so we can uh, do that through the analog and you see the digital t uh, time and date. We'll just hit OK. Then we have adjust uh, display. Under the adjust display, we can uh, choose what we want uh, to appear here. We can up, you know, uh, dull it a bit. We can increase it and we'll leave it at the default, which is 16. Hit OK. Now we have our IP address setting. And here we can actually specify an IP address for our Seymour on our network. Right now we won't do that. We'll just hit OK. And then we have our adjust panel touch. This will allow us to calibrate the touch panel as we did previously in um, our initial power up on our screen. So we'll just hit cancel on that. Then we have our beep. You can hear it beeping in the background. We can actually disable that beep so that it won't beep again. Let's hit okay. And then we have our mouse. Whether we show uh, mouse cursor on or off. We're gonna leave that as the default, which is off. Hit OK. So that is our setting menu. Hitting going back to our main menu, we can go into our test menu and we can test our touch panel. And it looks like it's communicating just fine. We can hit cancel. We can test the um, LCD and it shows you um, a run through a series of different uh, screens that will highlight all of the different pixels on the screen itself. So this is great for troubleshooting your screen in the field to ensure that it's still functioning as it should.
Okay, touching that, we go back to the uh, test menu again. And then we can um, test user LED. And you can see right now, we have it off. We can have it, um, you'll see up here in the left corner, underneath the green, which indicates our power, we can turn it to red. And now it turns red. We can turn it to green. So now it now turns green. Again, looking right up here in the uh, left corner, underneath our power light, or we can go to amber. So, and right now we'll just leave that off and we'll hit cancel. So there you go, we'll test our LED. Our testing our COM port. We can do serial loopback tests on this. We can also go serial two and check that and, and look at our pin assignment. Serial three and our ethernet. So these provide testing so that we can um, quickly um, determine whether or not our communications are good. We'll hit cancel. And then we have our uh, test for our beep and a sound. So we can do our beep test. That works. And then speaker. All right. And what it does, it says, please connect the speaker output. So we don't have anything on our output right now. But if we did, we could actually test that output, the audio output, and uh, determine whether or not that uh, audio output is working correctly. So we say cancel. So that is our test mode. Going back to our main menu, the last mode we have is our memory. And then we have under our memory, we have our backup. So we can back up um, onto USB. Um, and it gives you a different steps that we can go through. We cancel. We can restore from that same uh, USB. Then we have a clear memory. So we can actually clear the memory out of um, our unit altogether. We cancel. Or we can hit our factory reset. And it'll ask us if we're sure. We'll just say uh, cancel that. Then we can go back to our main menu. And then to exit this, we just hit exit and we're back to our home screen. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription in order to actually get those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.